Welcome to the URI Feinstein Providence Campus Lobby Gallery. Uh, this month we're featuring um, Human Creativity, uh, 30 years of visual and performing arts at Central Falls High School under the tutelage of Deanna Camputaro. Um, so I'm going to take you on a little tour of the exhibit. Um, each section is focused on different topics. Uh, this is all a study of Africa. So these are African fabrics and um, masks created by the students for performance. Um, so there's the visual arts and performance um, all represented in these um, projects. Um, for over 30 years, Deanna worked with students there and many of the students would come back and work as mentors to the students who followed after them. <clears throat> uh, they also brought in uh, special artists um, as guest um, artists, uh, drumming, dance, and also um, in the visual art, um, local artists and um, from the region. There you see the students dancing in the photographs. <clears throat> and this is one of the mentor artists, um, master drummer Musa, um, who worked with the students for many years. This is some more costumes made with fabrics that were um, painted in traditional African um, style. Some of them tell stories uh, and um, Deanna studied and became a master dance instructor. The next section uh, focuses on um, celebrations of Dr. Martin Luther King's um, uh, writings and speeches uh, every year in January, February. Um, they would create a performance and also visual arts that dealt with um, peace and also um, uh, struggling against racism. Um, so we see photographs of performances in dance and theater. all based on um, the writings and speeches of Dr. Martin Luther King. They're very powerful. <clears throat> and then also on peace. Um, I have the good fortune of having the students and uh, their artwork in a number of exhibits here and one time the well-known um, sculptor Mimi Samus, who lives in Narragansett, lent me a whole series of sculptures um, on peace for an exhibit about peace. And uh, the Central Falls students came in and chose which um, sculptures they wanted to dance to and created dance pieces in the gallery um, improvisationally um, that were inspired by Mimi Samus's um, sculptures. <clears throat> and this is a peace project that included messages on uh, peace banners and also um, there were um, benches created uh, at Central Falls High School with the Steel Yard in Providence um, working together. So there were a, that was another example of the collaborations. Um, this uh, flag project really has to do with freedom. Uh, many of the students uh, come from different countries who are uh, in school in Central Falls and for them freedom is a very important 
um, reality because they were born in situations that were certainly less free and the students um, were asked to respond to ideas of freedom, um, immigration, um, and um, each one is very dynamic and they were they chose how they wanted to depict their ideas about freedom and uh, connections with the with the American flag. Some also have the flag of their their um, nation of origin um, and the sort of pull between the cultures. Um, this is a wonderful little box around the students also did writings um, so the the visual art and the performance were coupled with um, literacy and um, uh, other forms of creativity. There are um, images, uh, posters facing out the windows here, uh, so you can see in the windows in some places, and then you can um, see uh, uh, specifically posters on the street. This is a book. I'm going actually backwards through the book. Um, and there was a book in the window uh, further back on peace. So I'm going backwards in the story. And then there were a number of collaborations with, in dance, with um, Hadley from Brown University. Um, very expressive. This has to do with sweatshops, um, this performance. And they also studied, in addition to studying different styles of dance, ethnic dance, um, from their own countries of origin and Africa, and but also with modern and jazz dancers at Brown University. This one has to do with slavery, this project. These are photographs that have to do with slavery um, and they created performances around those. And the environment. Self-expression. And continuing through the glass doors, you see the students rehearsing and performing. Very talented young people. see some of the artists that they were working with in addition to Deanna
So they created work based on noted jazz and modern dance and, uh, artists. And this last section is a project that was a collaboration with Don Mays, a theater piece that had to do with the community. So please stop by and see this face to face uh, in more detail and taking your time. Um, it's up through the end of the month of July and next week, July 15th, there will be a gallery night and there'll be performances in the gallery. Uh, we're at 80 Washington Street. You can also enter on gallery night from 255 Westminster Street. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday during the day and next week on gallery night from five to nine. Thank you and stop by.